24 short hours is all that separates your boy Double R Mars from BWO Devastation, the Dusty Don Murdoch Memorial Show, and his upcoming United States title defense against one Joseph Damon Bull. You see, this particular matchup that I'm going to be having with Joseph Damon Bull is going to be a little different than the last couple of matches that we've had. It's going to be a little more personal than the last couple of matches that we've had. Now, for just about half of a calendar year now, I've had to deal with Joseph Damon Bull and his little dynasty of destruction. Back in September of 2010, they put me out of action ensuring that I would not be able to continue on in Tag Team Turmoil. Back in October of 2010, they ended my first ever professional wrestling title reign when they took the United States belt from me. But it was at the end of our last match at BWO Showdown, just a few short weeks ago, where Joseph Damon Bull did something to your boy Double R Mars that was inexcusable. Joseph Damon Bull did something to your boy Double R Mars that was unforgivable. And he did it in front of the largest crowd to ever attend a professional wrestling event at the American Legion in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Which means only one thing. That as the main event match, as the headliner of BWO Showdown, your boy Double R Mars drew the biggest crowd to ever attend a BWO or professional wrestling event at the Elmwood Park American Legion. But that's another story for another time. You see, regardless of how it happened, I did exactly what it was that I said I was going to do. Defeating Joseph Damon Bull to retain the BWO United States Heavyweight Championship. As a result, the spotlight was then directly focused on me as I prepare to embark on a celebration the likes of which the American Legion of Elmwood Park had never seen before. A celebration that was sure to get the people talking and to continue to get them talking to this day. But before that could happen, Joseph, Joseph Damon Bull decided to take it upon himself to take the spotlight off of your boy Double R Mars and put it on himself as he aired his dirty laundry in the middle of the ring, figuratively, not literally, because that would be gross, as he proceeded to beat down James Weck, kicking him out of the Dynasty of Destruction and inducting Richie Rotten as their new mystery member. Now, this doesn't really bother me, being that James Weck and I have never really seen eye to eye, and realistically, we probably never will. What bothers me is the fact that Joseph Damon Bull took the spotlight off of your boy Double R Mars and put it on himself, even though I had just won the match. Bull, what you did was very selfish. And if there's one thing you never, ever do to a rock star under any circumstances, it's take the spotlight off of him. Joseph, this makes me very angry. I can look past past transgressions. I can look past the fact that you took me out of tag team turmoil and ended my first BWO US title run. These are things that I can look past and forgive, let slide after a certain amount of time. But taking the spotlight off of me and putting it on yourself very selfishly is something that I am not going to forgive you for. Something that I will be taking out on you at BWO Devastation. And I don't care if you have James Weck in your corner, or Tony Schaaf, or even the hardcore legend himself, Richie Rotten. None of that matters to me. All that matters is what is going to be typed up on Facebook on the results page of BWO Devastation. And that will read, Ray Ray Mars, lowercase d, period, for defeated, Joseph Damon Bull to retain the BWO United States Championship. Bull, you want to take the spotlight off of me and put it on yourself? Well, I hope you enjoyed 
doing that at BWO Showdown because you can rest assured that the only light that you're going to be looking at, the only spotlight that's going to be shined on you come devastation, are the spotlights coming from the ceiling as you count the lights for three seconds. And Double R Mars proves why he is the man so quick on his feet that he simply cannot be beat. Why he is the hottest, fastest rising star in the indie wrestling scene today that nobody's talking about. Why he is the true headliner of the Body Slam Wrestling Organization. And why he will be, after BWO Devastation, still the United States Champion. Till the next time, y'all keep checking out your boy Double R Mars. And I'll keep on bringing you the hits, as only can be brought to you by... The rock and roll renaissance man of professional wrestling. Get at me.